This week, former Senate Majority Leader and 1996 Republican presidential nominee Bob Dole was awarded the Congressional Gold Medal. He showed his trademark wit. I want to thank all those who have said such kind words about me. They're probably not true, but they were nice. And his generosity. And I also want to thank my colleagues For without them, nothing would have been accomplished. As we were looking over his career, there are plenty of echoes to today. As Congress tries to break out of the government shutdown, we were reminded of Dole's role in a bipartisan attempt to avert a shutdown in 1991 and his appeal to compromise. The naysayers, the nitpickers may have a field day because the easy vote in this case is to find something you don't like and vote no. But in my view, we owe more to the American people than finding fault with what I consider to be a good agreement. And as the president defends himself against charges of racism, Dole's words at the 1996 Republican convention have also been circulating on social media. But if there's anyone who has mistakenly attached himself to our party in the belief that we are not open to citizens of every race and religion, then let me remind you, Tonight, this hall belongs to the party of Lincoln, and the exits, which are clearly marked, are for you to walk out of as I stand this ground without compromise. Senator Dole has been a guest on Face the Nation 63 times, and his career also touched the lives of two of us on this show. Me, as a young reporter covering his campaign for Time magazine, and in need of a haircut, and our executive producer, Mary Hager, covering him for CBS both as a campaign embed and on Capitol Hill. For recognition of a career serving and sacrificing for his country. Congratulations, Senator Dole. Back in a moment.